Rocky in the kitchen today, and I'm telling you, it's underrated, but it's so delicious. A good old-fashioned pork chop. The, uh, but the chop. Aren't your, they, these aren't your grandparents' pork. I remember eating a pork chop. It was really thin. Most of the time, it was overcooked, and they would throw applesauce on it just so that way you could like just just get through it. Right, because it's overcooked, so it's dry and it's right. tough. The apple sauce is going to go on and add a little moisture, right? Yeah. They say a sauce can cover a multitude of sins. It, well, that's that's true when it came to that, but. We, the, how we're cooking pork chops have changed over the years. Yeah, absolutely. Also, during that time, trichinosis, mm -hmm. we thought that we had to just overcook all the chop. Yeah. We know now that 145 degrees, about that medium rare, is a great temperature for a pork chop. Yeah. Um, and it's safe as well, right? All so, right? So what do we got? We've got two very thick pork chops. These are about an inch thick, three quarters to an inch thick. I'm going to hit these with a little bit of salt and pepper. Now, I chose not to grind the salt. I like to get that rock on there like that. Really? And I'm going to show you why here in just a second. Because your name is Rocky That's, and you yep. like rock salt? I like the rock salt, right. Um, you can buy this pink Himalayan sea salt from our friends over at Salt in Wolfland, and they've got the grinder for it as well if you prefer it that way. Okay, so I've got the saute pan going, just a little bit of olive oil. You see we're getting to that smoke point because yep. I want it to be a super high heat, okay? Okay. Check out what we're going to do right here. I love me some, some Dijon. A little Dijon mustard, about a tablespoon on each of these, only because I'm going to flip them. So it's going to be a lot for one side, but not for two, right? right. So we just want to get a good layer of that Dijon right on top okay. of our chops like that. Wow, you're coming in hot. Oh my gosh, stuff. look at how great this is going to be though. Right. So you so just now, throw them in there? Yeah, look at this. Oh, I see what you've done. Now we're going to get a good amount of coating over the whole entire thing. If, you, if you'd like to have no gloves on, that's great if you're at your house, but it's a, it's a weird feeling. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm all about the gloves. So now check this out. We get all that Dijon. We're going to go right into that super hot oil. Watch your suit there, Andy. I don't okay. want to grease splash your suit. Thanks for the heads up. I yeah. appreciate it. Even though they're giving you fashion tips. They're giving me fashion tips. I just I, I need, a, I need an expense account now. Exactly. So okay, check this out. looking good. A very hard sear is all we're going to do on both sides of this, okay? That's it? Yep. So I've actually got the oven preset right now to 300 degrees. While we finish this one pan dish, we're going to put that into a 300 degree oven. That's going to kind of bring up that temperature okay. for us just a little bit. But what we want to look for, right when you put it into that hot oil, move it around a little bit so we can make sure that it doesn't stick and we get a lot of that good surface area. And it's good and even, and then we're, what we're doing is we're also laying down some fond on the, on the bottom of the You're exactly plate. right, fond, right? Mm -hmm. And check this out, this is gonna help us out just a little bit too. We've got olive oil already in there, but most pork chops, especially the boneless, which is what I have here, it comes from the larger side of the pork loin. We're gonna see a layer of fat around one of those sides, okay? I'm gonna sear that layer of fat as well, okay? Pull off some of that goodness. We're gonna render, essentially, some of that fat into our oil. And if you look here, you can already see how we're already starting to get that good kind of golden brown color. Yeah, we're going to hold that there so we can get a close up of it. But yeah. that is, yeah, that good. See how we're starting to get that sear? Mm -hmm. And that's going to continue to cook as well. So that Dijon's going to develop a really good crust and it's actually going to sear in all of those great juices so that we don't have your grandma's overcooked pork chop when we're done. Yeah, applesauce. I always wondered why. Why did people serve pork chops and applesauce? It was hey, pork and apple go really well it, together. It but I'm going to show you a much better way to do it. Perfect. You guys uh, stay right where you are. We're going to continue this recipe right after this quick break. We've got more with Chef Rocky after this.